Hey guys, in today's video we're taking a look at color depth and the differences between 8-bit and 10-bit color in videos and photos. Color depth is the number of bits per pixel in an image to represent a specific color. The more bits you have per pixel, the higher the color variety and image quality. Bit depth determines the subtlety with which gradations and tone are recorded. An 8-bit video or photo has 8 bits per channel, meaning the image has 24 bits of color because we have three primary color channels, red, green, and blue. This means that each RGB channel has a total of 256 luminosity levels or color shades. 8-bit video or photos have 256 by 256 by 256 luminosity levels, which equate to more than 16 million discrete colors. A 10-bit image will have 1024 red, 1024 green, and 1024 blue luminosity levels. This equates to 30 bits of color, however 2 bits are reserved for the alpha channel, making a total of 32 bits of color. 10-bit images can display more than a billion colors respectively. So those are a hell of a lot of numbers, but what does it all mean? Well, I've spoken about dynamic range in a previous video, and in a way, it directly relates to color depth. If we have higher bit depth or more color bits, then we technically have more shades of RGB colors within each color channel. To put it into perspective, an 8-bit frame of video will have 256 different luminosity shades of red, whereas a 10-bit frame of video will have 1024 different shades of red. So the 10-bit image will definitely have more dynamic range. Now where this all gets really confusing is the fact that on average, the human eye is only ever capable of distinguishing about 10 million colors. So what this means is that a lot of these cameras and displays are actually capable of generating images with a lot more colors than what we can actually perceive. Almost every single display device displays 8-bit color. So why is it necessary to have 10-bit besides dynamic range? Well, it turns out that higher bit depths aren't actually useful for viewing because we can't visually take full advantage of all those colors. But they do have some post-processing advantages. Higher bit depths give us more latitude in post-production for color grading. So in short, with higher bit depths, we are actually pulling colors from a larger pool of colors and then pushing them into a much smaller range. Why is this useful, you might be wondering? Well, if you're a professional color grader, having a pool of over 1 billion colors to pull out from can be very, very useful, even if the final video is going to be published in a 8-bit color format. You're able to really stretch those colors to fit different ranges in post-production without the image falling apart as it usually does at lower color depths. Higher color depths also allow you to have higher quality green screen images and also one that is less susceptible to color banding which occurs when the colors available in the color space are not enough to describe the image as you'd see it in real life. Now, I will admit that most of the color banding in both still and motion picture is as a result of the various compression methods that are typically used. However, color depth also plays a role, even if it's a minor one. Ultimately, the average eye will probably never be able to tell the difference between video and image that is either 8-bit or 10-bit color because both color depths generate a lot more colors than the human eye can see to even begin with. But the goal here and biggest factor is not actually the high fidelity output signal, but more about the possibility to more accurately match a target color in the real world and the convenience in post-production when processing. Filmmakers, television broadcasters, and professional videographers will never miss the opportunity to pick a 10-bit color signal over an 8-bit one, simply because it gives you more options in post-production. And overall, a marginally better image if you know exactly how to correctly manipulate the color information as the software will have a lot more data to work with. A fun fact is that most DSLRs and professional cameras are capable of capturing up to 14-bit raw image files, which can display billions of colors per pixel, and yet almost all the images are distributed and consumed at a 8-bit color depth, pretty much negating a large majority of those billions of colors. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this video has been useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as turn on notifications for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.